Hi guys, Sony Dubs here and today I'm doing a video review on the Mutrix sunglasses. Now these sunglasses are Bluetooth sunglasses and you might be wondering why. Simply because they've got speakers built into the sunglasses themselves and therefore allows you to listen to your music via your source device, in my case my smartphone, and have actual fully fledged sunglasses. Now these cost around £105 on Mutrix's website, they cost around £135 when they're not on sale, so do bear that in mind. I was very much intrigued when Mutrix approached me and said, hey, would you be intrigued to see how these compare to normal sunglasses or other sunglasses that offer such functions? And I was very much, yeah, that looks pretty cool because I've got similar looking normal sunglasses from Hawkers and I wear my Ray-Bans pretty much on um, a daily basis when it's sunny and I wear true wireless earbuds as well when I just want convenient earphones. So this was very much combining everything and putting it into one sort of package, sunglasses and audio into one. So without further ado, let's get into this review. So first of all, I'd like to go through what you actually get in this pretty simple box. Well, you've got a carrying case, which actually looks pretty nice. It's got this uh, triangular shape, and that's because of the size of the uh, glasses. So they need to fit in a certain way. Uh, Mutrix have done a nice job in terms of designing it, but the, uh, the face place, so to speak, is a bit of a fingerprint magnet. Other than that, you've got an instruction manual, which is quite useful and very much thorough. And then you've got a little um, a soft a carrying pouch, which is very nice to see. I do like this, um, and it's one I actually use normally uh, with my Ray-Bans. Then you've got a cleaning cloth, if you obviously want to clean the uh, sunglasses, and a USB to a proprietary charging port. Now, I'm not a big fan of the fact that it has a proprietary charging port. That means you can't use a, a, a micro USB, USB-C connector. But nevertheless, the charging port does magnetically attach very easily and it does charge it um, uh, pretty well. Now there is a reason why this doesn't have that uh, charging port and that's simply because this is a IP55 water resistant design. In other words, it will survive a good amount of rain thrown at it and obviously if you had a, a USB or micro USB port or whatever it might be, then it wouldn't, um, wouldn't be water resistant. However, they could have easily had a latch and therefore just like other um, earphones and headphones given that water resistance. The weight of the actual sunglasses is 50 grams. Um, in terms of uh, its battery life, you're looking at around eight hours of playback time, which is plenty uh, in terms of a device like this. It's very much on par with, say, true wireless earbuds, even though these last around 10 hours on a single charge. Now, other than that, um, uh, in terms of the actual using of the, uh, the sunglasses, it's pretty simple. You've got a sort of three button remote, which can be found um, on the uh, right hand side uh, at, the, um, at the bottom. This is essentially works uh, pretty instantaneously and very easily. So you can play pause by pressing the circular button, as you can see, like so, and it's working on, on my Android device. Uh, you can increase and decrease the volume. And again, it works pretty well. And then if you hold it down, it will skip or hold the other button, it will go back. As you can see, it works pretty well. If you hold down the circular button as well, you can also launch your voice assistant um, or, and or uh, power on or power off um, your, uh, your device. So um, it's worthy in terms of um, controls. I've got no complaints there in terms of uh, usability. There's also a little indicator in here. Hopefully you'll be able to see, you can see it's in Bluetooth pairing mode and therefore it does, um, you can pair it to um, uh, your device pretty easily. Now, um, other than that, um, the design of the, um, the glasses themselves, they are pretty chunky and I'll show you them in just a bit on my head. But what I found is that um, in comparison to your normal normal glasses, what you'll find is the um, frame is absolutely massive. Now, I haven't got the biggest head in the world, uh, but as you'll be able to see over here in terms of comparison, um, the, the 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 Mutrix actually do look pretty chunky and pretty big. And the, also the frame size itself is actually pretty big. Now, you can see a full um, measurement uh, on a Mutrix's website, so I suggest doing that, but this is kind of a rough comparison. And just to let you know, this is a smaller frame um, uh, Ray-Ban and uh, your normal Ray-Ban uh, sunglasses. So do bear that in mind in case you're comparing this for like for like. This is, as you can see, it quite a small framing comparison to the rest of them. Now, aside the actual chunky design, there's a few other things I do want to mention. They don't have a retractable uh, sort of design and they feel a bit 
clunky and plasticky, which isn't the feeling that you want. I also found that they're pretty tight on the head, uh, in other words, they're, they're pretty narrow, and I even um, had my fiance wear them as well, and she found the same sort of thing. It does feel not super comfortable. You can remove these rubber pads if you so wish, but I wouldn't suggest that in terms of comfort. Uh, so therefore you can reduce that sort of a little bit of strain on, on the back of your ears. Nevertheless, I did find them not to be the most comfortable thing in, in the world and on top of that, given the fact that they're pretty um, narrow, it doesn't mean that it's very comfortable to wear for long periods of time. Now, in terms of the build quality, I must say that it's a kind of hit and miss. I do like the design and what they've done with it, but the uh, plasticky feel doesn't give me a sense of doesn't give me a sense of, I don't know, it's gonna last uh, the uh, period of time. Uh, and the, the, the bezels themselves, as you can see, they're pretty thick, but that is kind of needed because this is what houses the chips or the houses the, the, um, the, the speakers. Now, speaking about the actual speakers, I must say I'm a little bit disappointed because you can actually hear them if you're sitting next to someone who wears them. So obviously if you're gonna buy, buy, be buying them, you might be conscious about people around you. And in this case, if I play some music, you can hear that music playing through. Um, and it is pretty obvious that So yeah, I know it's not the best of songs, but it's an ep epic remix of Star Wars Cantina Band. But nevertheless, as you can see, you can hear the actual speakers, which in my opinion, I found it to be a little bit awkward in this respect because I don't want people listening to what I am listening to. And I want to be kind of either um, in my own isolation in terms of you know wearing some in-ears or just be in a way that I'm not disturbing others around me. So for example, if I was in the tube or in a train, then these would glass will annoy everyone around me. So it's a little bit of a hit and miss because I can see that why would you be wearing them on the train, but at the same time, why wouldn't you why would you want to be constantly getting them on and off when you just want to be listening to your music? So these are supposed to replace essentially your primary music source. That's what they're intending to be. So bear in mind that you want to wear them as much as possible. This is not something I can see myself actually doing on a daily basis. Now, before moving on to the uh, actual sound quality, I do want to talk about the uh, UV protection. It's got a, a, a UV 400 um, uh, lens, which means it will protect you against any bad rays. But what I do find is that you do see a lot of reflections. You can see over here, you might be able to see that there's a bit of a reflection. And in this case, you can see things behind you. So because of the big frame, you can see things that are behind you rather than just in front of you, which is a little bit awkward because you know that I'm not really intending on in seeing things behind me when I'm looking through um, through the lens. So let's talk about sound quality. And I know I'm wearing them, but I do want to give you an impression of how they look like um, while they're on my head. And I know it might seem silly to be wearing them indoors and while doing a video. Now in terms of sound quality goes, I must say I'm pretty disappointed. I wasn't impressed whatsoever in terms of the sound quality reproduction. There are a little bit of signs of positivity that I can say that in terms of the mid-range it sounds a little bit accurate and it sounds a bit forward, but the speaker drivers are pretty poor in terms of reproducing any sort of bass in terms of quality or quantity. The mid-range is kind of subdued and it's kind of lost the highs don't extend well, and the soundstage is near non-existent. And even though Mutrix claim to have a sort of surround sound experience, I think the only surround sound experience you're really getting is the outside world, and then therefore some music playing through some mini drivers. Now I do think that it is quite a cool concept. The problem is over here, and it's not being executed in a way that I would see myself happy spending 130 pounds or 110 pounds. Now if I compare these glasses in terms of size-wise uh, in comparison to the Hawkers, which these were I think on Kickstarter or Indiegogo, immediately I'm so much more comfortable with these glasses, even though they've got a weird sort of polarization on them, I'm so much more comfortable. They're very much lightweight and they don't feel very chunky. Then I combine them with a set of a true wireless earbuds and suddenly I've got class leading sounds in true wireless earbuds and a pretty nice look. So in my case I just don't quite understand why someone would buy something like the Mutrix or maybe other head, um, I'll say headphones, other uh, sunglasses out there. 
again putting on the Ray-Bans so you guys can see how this might look like and how again it might compare to the pretty chunky looking Mutrixes. So what do I think about them? Well ultimately I do like the concept and as I said before when Mutrix approached me I thought that's that's actually pretty cool and it looks quite nice on the press releases and on the website itself but actually getting them myself I must say it's not something I saw myself actively wanting to use or something that I would actually use myself um, to the point that after I went through the testing process and did my tests and things like that I was like okay I've had enough of these I'm going to put these down because one, they're giving me a bit of a headache, two, they sound pretty poor, and three, I just look a bit silly wearing these massive chunky sunglasses. So that's my opinion. I would suggest not buying them. I think they're a, not a waste of money, but I just don't see where the market is right there for them. If they were bone conduction, I could get that in a certain respect. Certain, some competitors or some more well-known brands offer bone conduction technology. In that case, I can understand it because you're not disturbing your neighbors, so to speak. Whereas in these, you know, you're disturbing everyone around you, at which point the only purpose of using them would be if you're in the park, pretty much on your own, walking, which seems like a very lonely life. So there we go guys, I've been totally dubbed. Hopefully you've enjoyed this review. It's been unbiased, unpaid, independent. And yes, Mutrix did send me out the uh, product, but as you can see, it's very much honest as everything is on my channel. If you do like this type of content, do subscribe, favorite, and share. Uh, and like it does help the channel grow helps me continue delivering unbiased independent content and more than anything let me know in the comments below what you think of these uh, sunglasses all right guys i've been totally dubbed take care and bye bye